uh, then Rabbi uh, Jonathan Kahn will come. If you have not read his remarkable book, The Harbinger, a bestseller, it is one of the most soul-stirring and stunning, spellbinding books I think I have ever, ever read. And he will come following Congressman Pittenger. Day one, George Washington lays his hand on the Bible in the capital city, and America as we know it comes into existence. He then enters the halls of Congress, delivers his first ever presidential address, and in those first words ever spoken by an American president lies a prophetic warning to this nation. Only two civilizations in human history came into existence dedicated from conception to the will and purposes of God. The first was called Israel, the second is called America. America was to be a city on a hill, a light to the world, from the words of the Jewish rabbi from Nazareth. And God blessed this nation as no nation has ever been blessed, to unparalleled heights of prosperity and power. But on America's first day came a prophetic warning, it was this, the propitious smiles of heaven can never be expected on a nation that disregards the eternal rules of order and right which heaven itself hath ordained. In other words, if America ever turns away from God, if it ever disregards the word and ways of God, then the smiles of heaven, the blessings of God, will be removed from this land. We stand tonight on Capitol Hill in a city named after the one who gave that prophetic warning to ask, can a nation drive out the name of God from its public square and the word of God from its schools and the ways of God from its culture and still expect the smiles of God to shine upon it? Can the blood of 50 million unborn children cry out to heaven from this land and the smiles of heaven still remain? Members of Congress, can a government call good evil and evil good and forge laws that war against the laws of the Almighty and the smiles of heaven still remain? Supreme Court justices, can you strike down the statutes of the Almighty and overturn the judgments of the Most High and still expect the smiles of heaven to remain? And Mr. President, can you place your left hand on the word of God to assume your office and then with your right hand sign laws that break the very word upon which you swore and still expect the smiles of heaven to remain? The voice of our first president cries out to us tonight and answers, no, you cannot do so and still expect the smiles of heaven to remain upon this land. When judgment came to ancient Israel, the destruction returned to the very same place on that, the place where the nation had been dedicated to God in prayer. The calamity returned to the nation's ground of dedication. On America's first day, after the prophetic warning was given, our first government walked on foot to the appointed ground on which to pray and dedicate this nation to God. That place is America's ground of consecration. Where was it? America was dedicated to God and her sacred ground of consecration is ground zero. On that day, a shockwave went forth from that sacred ground and struck Federal Hall, the place where Washington gave the warning of what would happen if this nation ever turned away from God. And the power of that force cracked open that foundation and the smiles of heaven were removed from the land. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall. America has risen by the hand of God. And without that hand, it cannot endure. The voice of God cries out, return America and I will have mercy on you. And tonight we bear witness from Capitol Hill that the warning of our first president is true and that our hope is not in the White House or the Supreme Court or the Capitol or Wall Street. Our hope is in the living God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Our hope is in Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah, the same yesterday, today, and forever. To him alone the nation is dedicated, and him alone is his salvation. So let the word go forth this night to this nation. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their evil ways, I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. Let the will of God be done, let the name of God be lifted up, and let this city on the hill again shine with the light of the fire of the glory of the living God in the name of Yeshua, Jesus, the light of the world, the glory of Israel, and the hope of these United States. So help us God. Amen.